Okay, it's Wednesday. I'm a little bit uh, in between receiving documents. So I got a scam email and I thought I would uh, give them a call. It was from a geek squad. Let me pull it up and pardon me. I'm on my laptop, so it's going to shake when I hit this table. So please ignore the shake. So the geek squad, um, I received a Invoice yesterday, May 16th for 347.23 for automatically renewing the subscription. So the payments are due upon receipt, yet they said that they had auto renewed and they charged my bank account. So the other thing is um, the weird thing on this email is it was sent to a um, email address and blind copied me uh, on my email address, so which was... Um, quite interesting that they did that. So let's go ahead and give a call. And that number is 833-741-4603. Hi, I'm having a hard time understanding you. You have a lot of background noise. I'm going to have to call back because I can't hear you at all. Um, you're cutting in and out. There's so much noise in the background. I can hear you a little bit, but there's too much noise in the background. My name is James. Hi, James. I got an email notification that I had a renewal for Geek Squad, and I don't know what this is. I do I don't think I have a Geek Squad account. No. Have you have you ever used any Geek Squad services? A long time ago. I I just don't understand why you would renew something that I don't think I had. I will check it, ma'am. Can you help me with your name? It's Ann Hernandez. Give me a second, ma'am. Can you spell your name? H E R N A N D E Z. Is it your last name or first name? That's the last name. My first name is Ann, A N M. Yes? Yes, that's my last name. First name, Miss. Can you spell your first name? A N N. N N. That's correct. Okay. Do you have any email ID? A N K N E Y Hernandez at gmail dot com. Okay, Mr. Give me a minute. I will check on your details, okay? Okay. Can you hear me, Miss? Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. Would you tell me uh, how long ago you were using Geek Squad services? I don't. I don't remember. I just got out of jail. I've been in jail for a year. Okay. For what kind? For what kind of what? What have you done? So you go to jail. I got in trouble. Why does it matter? Okay. I mean, is 
you, you have to cancel this uh, email through our safe and secure services. Otherwise, your very money will be deducted from your credit card. It it says it auto automatically auto debited my credit card, and I don't understand how it could do that because my parole officer just set up my bank account and. I can't have these problems. What am I going to do? They're going to come back at me and think that I did something. No, Miss. That, okay, the email you have told me, is it connected to your uh, mobile phone or any account? I, d I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting this email. I unless some Unless my girlfriend did something, I don't know. The last I know, she broke up with me when I went to jail. The whole thing was a setup, too. I mean, I didn't even do anything wrong, and I got in trouble. Okay, hey, Miss, don't worry. Can you tell me, have you ever shared your personal information with someone else? Well, um, I, I shared it with my girlfriend, and then when I was in jail and we were talking on the phone, you know, I don't know if they heard it. She needed to pay her bills. Ma'am, the problem is uh, someone is using your uh, someone is using a Geek Squad account on behalf of your name, and they have put your email ID on their Geek Squad account. That's why you are receiving an email. Can you tell where the payment went to? Can you pull that up and see what account was billed? Yes, yes, yes. Let me let me tell you. Let me check it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Are you there, Miss? I am. Yeah, it's from multiple personas from different locations. It's from California, uh, Chicago, Ohio, and Washington, D.C. as well. I it's from different locations, from different personas are using your services on behalf of your name. That's why you are having an email, you're receiving an email. Okay. So what you have to do, you need to disconnect them from your account, okay, from your email ID, from your phone. The problem is, are you hearing me? The problem can is, you hear me? yeah, I can hear you. The problem yeah, is what? The problem is, they are locating your IP address. Do you know what is IP address? No. What's an IP address? Okay. I don't have an address. Yeah. I just got out of jail. Yeah. No. 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 It's it does not your address. I every phone has an IP address. Okay, that IP address has all of access of your phone accounts as well as your number. If someone locate your IP address, if someone try to uh, unlocate your IP address, they will easily get into your phone using your services. They will easily get into your account, made a transaction, made a fake transaction, and place some orders as well. That's why you are seeing you have an email, okay? So who is, I mean, where is the money coming from to pay this bill if I just got a bank account? I don't understand. You don't have any banking account? Well, they just gave me one when I got out of jail. Okay, okay. Maybe I mean, are they using something. my bank account on my phone? Yes, 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 they are using your bank account on your phone. Are you using, uh, are you using any online banking services? I don't any know. My girl, my girlfriend set it up. I'm going to have to call her, and I'm going to end up back in jail because of this because I am getting pissed off. No, no, we need to, we need to just don't worry about. Just no need to get worried. Don't need to be banned. We have to just cut them off. Okay. After that, your information will be safe and secure on your phone. You just have to disconnect them from your phone. Uh, from first, you have to look on into your IP address whether it is safe or not. Okay? So, I will tell you. I will inspect you. Just don't worry. I will inspect you how to check your IP address and how to protect your IP address. Okay? Just okay. don't need to worry. I don't know if I know enough how to do this. I will... I will instruct you. Let me let me help you. I will instruct you how to protect your first step. You
your IP, IP address, whether it is safe or not. I will tell you, I will instruct you step by step, okay? You, you know what? Um, I need to go find her because I'm too upset to even, I'm shaking right now. So I'm going to go find her. Maybe, maybe, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not her. These are, there, there are multiple locations your account were locating. It, it, from, what if uh, she's California cheating on me? What if she's having an affair with people in other places while I was in jail? This is, I, I'm just, I don't even know what to think. Okay, just be calm. Let me, let me help you. Just open your phone. Open your phone. I will let you know. I will guide you step by step. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me which phone are you using? Is it Android or an iPhone? Um, I think it's the Apple kind. Okay. Okay. That's great. Just open your uh, Apple and go to Google. Okay. Okay. Tap on the bar. Okay. Okay. Uh, right in there, what is my IP VPN? I as an Indian, P as an Peter. Then put a space, right? V as in Victor, P as in Peter, and as a Nancy. Make sure you will write what is my IP VPN, okay? It, my phone just crashed. Yes? No, my phone just crashed. Okay. Just just let me let me connect you with our safe and secure server. So I will uh, guide you step by step, okay? You know what? I'm I'm gonna call back because I'm gonna go get in a fight right now and I I'm just too upset. I know she's cheating on me. This no, is no, don't, don't. Don't put in you into a trouble again, okay? Well, no. Just be calm. I help you. I'm gonna okay. have to call back. I'm too upset. I'm gonna end up going to jail. I'll talk to you later. No. no. Okay. This guy was bothering me and I didn't want to tell him I was a CFA because you know when I started to go to jail and stuff that was just too much so anyways yeah he wanted my IP location and he was going to get access to my phone and charge me so I wonder if they're they've kept my phony phone number so we'll see we'll see if I get a voicemail message from them and if they if they call me I'll I'll update this but uh there we go. That's my little scam call for the day. He was all worried because, you know, my girlfriend was in trouble because she's cheating on me. So I better go tell my husband. Okay.